Yes, sir. Cause I'm motivated by money and I'm motivated by fast cars. I ain't never had none. So when I get it, try to piss like a nest. I'm motivated by all of my brothers. I see them when I get hot to the stars. And I'm motivated by the bitches that did me wrong. You can see all these open scars. Yeah. Hey, look, what's good, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna tell a story about one of the times I ran from the cops and everything that went down. Hey, look, my mom still don't know about this, but she about to now, I guess, so, oh well. Uh, I believe it was senior year, maybe junior year. No, this was after, after I graduated. I think it was after I graduated. I know I had a car, but for some reason I was driving my mom's car. I don't know why. I completely forgot. But me, my friends Trill and Nick went somewhere and I was driving my mom's car. I don't know where we went. I don't know nothing about that. But on the way back home, literally. So it's a, a red light right here, right? We coming this way. You turn right to the red light, and it's this long road. It's like it goes woo, go up a little hill, down a little bit, and then up a steep hill, and then down the hill. And my neighborhood was over the first little hill. Before you get to the second hill, you turn left, and that's the neighborhood. So look, I I drive pretty fast, you know. Shouldn't and I shouldn't, but oh well. So I'm driving. It's maybe eight nine o'clock it's kind of dark it's not stupid dark but it's dark i get i, I turn right through the light you don't the road boom a car i see one car in front of me i didn't i i guess it was an suv or something so i couldn't see around it or over it whatever but as the story goes on you'll notice it's gonna be i think it was two it might have been three though i think it was two this was like three, four years ago. I don't even know. But, so, it is a one lane road. Boom, boom. Going this like these. And a double yellow line. You can't cross no double yellow line. But I don't care. So, hey man, the dude in front of me, speed limit probably like 30. Dude in front of me going 10. 10 miles per hour. And you think I'm finna sit behind you? Not finna happen. So, boom. I'm in the lane behind him, I'm like, nah, I ain't saying, nah. And Nick in the front seat and Trill in the back seat, both on the right side. So, boom, bust a little, uh, get over, hit the gas. I said, oh, snap. I noticed it's another car in front of that battery finna die. I'll be back. All right, so anyways, boom, get over, hit the gas. I went crazy. I'm like, oh, snap, it's another car right there. But it was like, I don't know how you see it because it was a good little distance in front of that first car. It wasn't like he on his bumper and then it was like hit a car, good little distance. So I got to get over and then keep going to get in front of that car. I'm like, ah. <sighs> now, over the, so I told you, my neighborhood is like right over the hill. Over the hill coming this way, I see a motorcycle. And then an SUV, was that SUV or car? So, so another car behind it. Another car behind that. It was like three cars, whatever. I saw, so I seen, I seen the motorcycle as I'm in this lane. And so, I had to get over in front of him. I, I couldn't stop and go back to where I was. That's stupid. So, get over in front of the, um, the car. So in my brain, I'm like, that has to be a cop. Who, who on a motorcycle this late at night coming this way? Like, nah, bro, this has to be a cop. But it turns out it wasn't a cop. The car behind the motorcycle was a cop. So I get over, I'm like, ah, snap. <laughs> I know that's the cop, but it wasn't. So I'm like, cool. So then we get right about to go over the hill and then the the car passes us, and this may be like three car lengths that way. It turns its lights on, and then uh, 
pulls over into like the grass area to turn around. I'm like, oh my God. So I hit the gas a little bit. Boom. I'm like, wait, should I stop? Nah, forget that. Boom. Hit the gas again. And then I ain't noticed because, you know, I never skirt into the, to the neighborhood. But the neighborhood, so the road, the road I was on was paved, but the neighborhood road wasn't. So it was like a little dip uh, when you turn in. So, and it's, and it's also on the turn. So it's, it's up a hill and turning. So, so I turn real fast, hit the dip, and then the car, so now, now, so I turn in, now I turn this way, and the car goes, do, do, like, it, like, bounces a little bit, or like, slides, I forgot. All I know is, do, do, boom, hit the, we hit the curb, and Nick, one of them hit the head, one of them hit their leg. I think Nick hit his leg on the, on the door, Trill hit his head on the window, boom, and Trill was hurting for a good three days. Was it true with a leg? I think true with a leg hurt. One of them, I don't they can tell the story. Might update the story. So boom, hit that. So I, I ain't think nothing of it. Mm. Go and then go a little bit more in my driveway, right? Just like shoo, bust in the driveway. And Tony was waiting on us to take us somewhere else. So I park in the driveway. And then Tony, Tony can tell this side of the story. I don't know. I might get him in here and tell the story, whatever. But Tony on the phone, I didn't know any of this. I just ran. I got out the out the car, uh, closed the door, locked it, ran straight inside. That's my house, you know what I'm saying? And then Nick and Trill went over to uh, Tony's car, knocking on the window. And he on the phone with somebody, and he he over here laughing. This is what I was told afterwards. I'm, I'm going to leave I'm gonna let him tell that side of the story. But, um, so yeah, I ran inside. My mom, everybody sleep. Uh, so I come back outside. All I hear is a tsh. So walk over to the car. The tire is busted. I'm talking about straight leaking. I'm talking about like it's not a little little nail in this thing. Got a hole in it or something. So I'm like, ah, oh my god, I gotta fix the tire now. Me and Nick talking or something, and then he started walking. He I forgot why, but he was. Started walking to see if the cops were coming uh, into the neighborhood. So, hit my driveway. He walked out the driveway, go this way. So, we came in this way and turned into the driveway like this. He started walking this way. And on the other side, like around the curb, I, I couldn't see it. I heard the ambulance. Well, I heard the, the siren. So, I'm like, oh, snap. He turns around and started running back and says, get out of here. Or something like that. I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> we started running. Uh, I forgot what happened. Ended up being an ambulance, though, or a fire truck. I forgot. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, then, time went on. And I was supposed to go with Tony. But since all this stuff just happened, the tire busted, I couldn't. I was like, nah, I had to tell my mom all this stuff. Um, they leave. I go in. I think I wake up my mom and tell her. I don't know if she woke up or I woke her up. But I tell her, I was like, uh, I hit the curb. I just do all I told her. I said, I hit the curb and the tire is uh, uh, leaking or something like that. I don't know what I said. But she was like, how you how you hit the curb? What do you do? I just, it was a bump. I just turned it. You know, I ain't telling the whole story. If she watched this, oh well. I'm too old now. Uh, but Turns out, so we go to the tire flat, and there ain't no pump it up and fix it. No, you gotta get the tire. So I'm like, all right, cool. We gonna go to it's a tire place, literally like probably five minutes from the house. We go get a new tire. The dude tells her, no. So I pay for the new tire, and then she good. On the way home, the I guess what is it? the steering wasn't straight. So she she talking to you, I can't I, I can't drive like this blah blah. She take it to the mechanic the next day. So I, so what ended up happening was I popped the tire, I broke the rim like the rim was cracked, and I think I 
dented or bent the axle or something like that. I forgot. It's been so long. So long. But I had to pay a thousand dollars just to fix that. So I paid thousand dollars right there and there. Here you go. You know, I I messed up. Here you thousand dollars. So I paid like two hundred something for the tire or hundred something, and then thousand dollars for the axle or to fix the whole thing. Um. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story right there. So yeah, basically got over. Try to zoom in front of him because he's going too slow. Cop come over the hill. I say he. We zoom, boom, and then you know what I'm saying. But yeah, that's the end of the story, mom. If you're watching this, I paid to get your car fixed, so it's not that serious. I can understand if I crashed your car, flipped it over, or something, couldn't fix it. But I paid to get your car fixed. You good? So don't don't. Uh -uh. Um, Nick and True, y'all heads, legs, whatever happened. Y'all good? Y'all y'all good? They was laughing the next or next day. Whatever we talked about, they was laughing. Uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably have Tony to like do an update to this uh, with his side of the story. Maybe chill or something. Um, if they want to come through and talk about it. But yes, yeah, into this story. I'm gonna be doing a lot more story time. Just hey man, my kids want to see how I was when I was you know little, growing up, all that stuff. They'll get to see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how my dad was. I don't even know my dad for real. But yeah. Merry Christmas.